just having the demeanor to, to be able to accept um, he's at his level. You just don't find too many people without an ego big as the state that choose to say, well, you know, modern Arnis, non, the non-classical gung fu, there's a place for Muay Thai, there's a place for the Salat, there's a place for boxing, um, there's a place to know when you know you have to shoot. <laughs> and so I think that there's a realism there and it's really common sense, it's simple. It's a lifestyle. You don't get involved, I think, in NSI because it's, it's uh, really cool just to learn how to use a knife, you know? I mean, it really is, it's an integrated method of, of living and martial arts happens to be the medium by which we do that. With NSI, the, it's such an umbrella of styles that you will find something in NSI that you can attach to and go, oh, I feel really comfortable in this range. And then that will make you the best fighter you can be within that skill set. You know, so if you feel really comfortable with stick and knife, and then you can attach that to empty hands, then Data will do that. If you want to be a kickboxer, he can show you the way to make kickboxing work for the street. You know, and I think as well that something that Data teaches is mindset. A lot of other martial arts schools are more concerned about, you know, it's a great workout. You know, kick pads, get six pack, get ripped and things like this. And, and that's great to a certain point. But if you don't have the mindset of, this is real. Um, there, was a, there was a saying one time, Ed Parker, who, who created American Kenpo Karate, was asked, what is pure karate? And he turned around and says, when pure fist meets pure flesh, that's pure karate. That's NSI. It teaches you not to be a victim. If you're not going to be a victim, then you're going to be aware of your surroundings. You're, going, you're not going to go into harm's way. You're going to look around and say, you know, there's a group of people over there that I really don't like what they're doing. I think I'm going to walk this way. Or I'm going to turn around and go that way. I don't want you to go through a system that's based on rank and remember, you know, too much memorization of one steps, things like that. I want you to be able to see something that you know, and we'll use some slang words. When I want you to go in and do something to somebody, I don't want him to still stand there. I want you to know that you've clanged him. Natural spirit has that. He says, yeah, but I can't put a finger on exactly what it is you are or what it is you do. So, well, that's what it's supposed to be. Because I don't know. You know, a fight is ADD in action. You know, it really is. It's hit the peon pinata. You got a baseball bat, you know there's a peon pinata in the area. And it's shaped like a man. <laughs> and every once in a while you make a hit and it makes a noise. <laughs> Yeah, makes you seek the uh, pinata with more authority you know? <laughs> so you know you look at it from that perspective everything else is tool development I think when the concept of technique came into play it was just something that we could sell or that the Americans bought into but you know bottom line we should be complimented for our self-expression and our self-growth and our self-realization that we can do it that's the value of hitting a pad that's the value of feeling, wow, man, this knee hits, and boy, if I got nothing else, I know that I can launch an overhead right or a hammer fist or a low shin kick from anywhere. So that's the value of training with a door, a doorway, a tree, a silent fighter, a wall, or an opponent if he happens to show up. You know, so it's really about tool development. You know, there's a message over here on the bench here that uh says the key to immortality is first living a life worth remembering. That says it all. You know, you know we have the mixed martial arts scene out there now and, 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 and that's, that epitomizes the, the ultimate physicalness of human being, but what is it doing for the mind? I don't think they've concentrated on that too much, you know? And, and when you look at the totality of the life and the world around us, you can be the most deadly person out there <laughs> as far as the physicalness, but if you can't inculcate that, that philosophicalness in yourself, um, I'm afraid that, that you will not have lived a complete life. There is some ethical, there is some moral, there is some social values. Knowing when, you know, I didn't like firearms because I knew I was hot-headed when I was younger. So impact weapons, defensive skills, knife, you know, people perceive knife as such a malicious tool, but in truth, if you're good with a knife, you can actually shut somebody down, shut their mobility down, lunge towards their face and take out their base, stab them in the thigh. I mean, how many people can take a charley horse to the thigh, let alone a knife wound to the thigh? Yeah, you could have did a lot worse.